Hello friends, James Stevenson back with another episode of Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today? Also an episode of Duncan on Munkin. If you're a big fan of that series, as Loki is, when he's not curled up on my chest trying to catch some Z's. Uh, let's skip the Loki cam and go right to my share desktop view and show you the topic of today's post. Uh, from Motorhead, at Brad Munkin, the, uh, the fraud hiding behind the fake name Brad Munkin sent this tweet, I've never seen a car maker struggle so hard with renewing its old models. Toyota's Corolla is in its 12th generation BMW's 3 Series, uh, which has been for decades called the M3, is in its 7th generation Hashtag Tesla can't even get a refresh done, let alone a full model change, whatever he means by that differentiation. And that's why they'll go bankrupt, he tweeted, uh, with two skull emojis here, retweeting fellow hater, fun with numbers with a Z at the end. According to the Tesla inventory tracker, Model 3 listings in Europe are at a new high since Highland launched. Uh, all right. So uh, I replied, I know it's hard for you to accept that Cashtag Tesla beat BMW's seventh try with their second attempt. It only took Tesla two tries to beat BMW's seventh refinement of the M3. But you've been shorting Tesla for five plus years now, so you should be used to denial and anger by now. Acceptance will come later uh, with this video clip. Yes, so... Uh, annoyingly, the Tesla Model 3 performance is spec fucking tacular. Okay, you heard it here first. The M3 has no reason to exist because the M3P is better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good night. Um. All right, there you go. That is award-winning automotive journalist Jason Camisa on the Car Mudgeon podcast. Uh, and he is talking about the M3P, the Model 3 performance from Tesla, versus the M3, the BMW uh, 3 Series. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. The facts are in. So I ratioed the fool out of uh, Motorhead Brad Munkin here. 318 likes on 16,000 views. He got 226 likes on 41,000 views. Uh, and then he replied, I've been long Tesla in between, which is how I survived. Well, if you can find the uh, the tweets from Motorhead Brad Munkin uh, making the bull thesis about why you should be a long-term investor in Tesla, let me know. I know he means that he just took a short-term uh, bullish position believing in some technical analysis bounce or whatever. Uh, he replied to me, you won't survive, but your Disney shares might save you. So uh, Motorhead Brad Munkin sometimes daydreams about me working at McDonald's or Disneyland to amuse himself, I suppose. Uh, so I replied, you mean like when you warned people reading your dumb blog not to short Tesla in April until the day before earnings were released? That actually happened, friends. Here's the proof. From the Motorhead blog, uh, Tesla's tweet implies Q1 output down 3% year over year. It was, uh, well, the production number was fine. The delivery number was the one that was really down, but that's not why these are here. That first one was just the establishing shot uh, for this screenshot further down the article or the blog post. I'm confident that earnings will disappoint in Q1 and the rest of the year, said the fraud hiding behind the fake name Brad Munkin. So plan to be short ahead of Q1 earnings results in late April, but I don't want to be short on April 2nd's Q1 production and delivery report when weak numbers have been this well flagged. So what's he predicting here? He's saying Tesla stock has already priced in lower deliveries, Therefore, the stock is going to rise throughout April, but from April 2nd until the delivery day, we're going to see the share price rise on Musk's de desperate pumps to get the share price higher. Uh, my gut feeling is that he might be looking to finance after Tesla's 10Q is published. This is uh, a repeated uh, dream 
of the fraud hiding behind the fake name Brad Mugen. Uh, he hopes that Tesla will raise money, uh, and he has made lots of wrong predictions about timing of when Tesla would go borrow money uh, to have more cash. So here it is. Uh, Don't short Tesla, said Brad Munkin, until the day before earnings. I have one more exhibit here. You may have guessed correctly that it's the uh, April stock chart. So here's the beginning of April. Here's April 2nd when the uh, deliveries report came out. Here's the day before earnings. So uh, there was no worse day to short Tesla than the day Brad Munkin said to short Tesla. Uh, the following day, it was up $30. <laughs> or two days later, it was up $30 per share. Uh, that's uh, that's as wrong as you can be. Forstall at Forstall underscore replied in all caps, LOL, no way. I replied, he called the bottom to the day three weeks ahead of time by telling his followers not to short it until then. There you go. And uh, that's as good a place as any to close out my video. Remind you to like the video if you liked the video. Uh, if you didn't like the video, go on your merry way, I suppose. But uh, I do appreciate everybody who supports me. Uh, you can read about how to do that in my bio or in the video description on YouTube, if that's where you're watching me. Uh, thanks to everybody who supports me, especially my executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com. And see you in the next one.